The show will start in three seconds. Hello, chaps! Welcome to a new saga called Conversations partially in song. Today we are gonna talk about... Hey! Yeah, hey! Hey, Zach, hey! What's that topic again? I was kind of just gonna tell you what... Anyway... Do you really want to know? Yes, because you have like all the topics. Do you not already know? No. What is that topic? It's a polygon. What's a polygon? Do you really want to know? We've been over this. Do you not already know? Seriously? I'll show you a pretty nifty song that helps me remember vocabs. It is a duplex trick that lives on 2D plates. Yeah, yeah. To be quadrilateral, to be parallel to. Speaking of parallel, have you heard? Parallel grams? Is the word. Rectangles, rhombus, trapezoids, and squares. You can find the shapes everywhere. Separately and isolates are complex, but once you learn them, they are at ease. Something cool and it moves in regular polygons. Their names of the twelve sides are nationwide. Here they go. Ready, bro? Polygons. Hexagons. Heptagons. Octagons. Nanagons, decagons, head decagons, and dirt decagons. Oh yeah, man. I got it now. It is a geometric shape that lives on a 2D plane. Yeah, yeah, it can be quadrilateral, it can be parallel too. Speaking of parallel, have you heard? Parallelogram is the word. Rectangles, rhombus, trapezoid squares. You can find their shapes everywhere. Complementary and isosceles are complex, but once you learn them, they are at ease. Something cool and that rules is regular polygons. Their names up to 12 sides are nationwide. Here they go. Ready, bro? Polygons, hexagons, heptagons, octagons, nonagons, decagon, oh, hemdecagon, decagon. We got it, Mom. But I'm bum. Polygons! Wait, wait! I don't know what half of those vocabulary words even mean. Same with me. I was just following your lead. Do you even know what a geometric shape is? No. There are two d d dimensional geometric shapes that are mostly defined by angles and degrees. Oh. Do you know what a 2D plane is? No. Then I shall tell you. I know what we should do. Wait, where is that? Mm. See? Look at this shape. It's two dimensional. It doesn't have any height. That's cool. <laughs> ah, yes. I see. And the quadrilateral has four, has a four sided polygon. Oh, really? Yes. Parallel means there are two lines that can go on forever to the end of time and never, ever touch each other. Wow, how intriguing. A trapezoid has something to do with that. It's a quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel sides. Nice. A parallelogram is a figure with all opposite sides parallel. That was easy to explain. I got it. What about a rectangle? I know what that is. A rectangle is a four-sided shape with four right angles. Now what was that rhombus thingy? Easy. A rhombus is a parallelogram with two opposite acute angles and two opposite obtuse angles. Okay, now you. A square is a parallelogram that has four equal sides and four right angles. Neat. Now supplementary angles. It's on the tip of my tongue, see? There it is, there it is, yes, it is right there. Okay, supplementary. Supplementary. Yes, I got it. It means 
times there are two angles, and when their degrees are added up, they create a 180 degree angle, also known as a straight line. Well then, an isosceles triangle is a triangle with two sides that have equal legs, and one is vertical. A regular polygon is a polygon that has all the same length, all sides the same length, and all corners the same amount of degrees. E -hump. Oh yes. Hexagon, six, six lines, six corners. Heptagon, seven. Octagon, eight. Dionagon, nine. Decagon, ten. Pentagon, eleven. Last but certainly not least, dodecagon, ten. It all makes sense now. Absolutely so. Oh, chucks! We forgot about our audience and our new song about our conversation. Partially song. I think they have learned their lessons on polygons, as did we. So shall we close up? Yes, I think we shall. Goodbye, people. Remember, polygons. Time for questions to the song. No questions for the socks. Well then, let's go get a spot of tea. Yes, I think we shall.